Live from Dallas, Texas, you are looking at the MLG main stage here for Championship Sunday, where we have our winner's bracket finals between Straight Rippin' and Final Boss. We got a great matchup here for you, and we're going to see it here very shortly. MLG Championship Sunday is going to come up to you live, but just a little bit ago, here's what happened. Final boss down two games, nothing. Comes back three to two, taking a victory over Triggers down in a great matchup. As you see the hands being shaken right there. But let me tell you what happened in a moment. This is MLG Championship Sunday. Being on a new team really feels fresh, feels like a fresh start, feels like I can start over, go back to the beginnings of when I first started playing this game and why I love it so much and why I have so much fun. I think the only way we're going to lose this event is if we beat ourselves and we don't play as well as we should. I think that's the only way we can lose, it's the only way we can ever lose. Live in the Big D, this is MLG Championship Sunday, and I'm your host, Farouk Tahid. We've got the crazy crowd out here. Everybody's going just bananas. You know why? Because we have the top eight teams competing here in the Dallas playoffs. And to help bring it all to you live today, I'm joined by two great guys in Chris Puckett and Sundance D. Giovanni. Gentlemen, this is Dallas, the playoffs, the top eight teams, the best teams in the 2008 Pro Circuit. Yeah, it is. And you know what? We saw last night that final spot get occupied by legends. And honestly, that was an amazing story. Those guys made it hard on themselves. They got here and they got themselves a pass to the Vegas championship, which means their whole season still goes on. Uh, that was a redemption for Gandhi there a little bit. I think he had his back against the wall. He does that sometimes. We, we joke around with him about it. But I was talking to him and he was proud to be on that team, proud to be able to take that spot. And you know what? Honestly, set up an amazing day here today. You know what, Sundance? We're here with the top eight Hill 3 teams in the world, and I couldn't be more excited. This is the last event before our championships coming up in Vegas, so this is do or die time. Lock down your strategies, get everything clicking, and get some momentum going into the final event of the season. And speaking of getting everything clicking, you touched on a little bit already, already Sundance, but Legends had it clicking last night. I mean, they had to come back from and do a whole lot to take that eighth spot, and they managed to do it. That's right. Now, Legends, they started off the tournament awful. They lost their very first match. They put their backs up against the wall, and they had to fight their way all out of the loser's bracket. And they did that one match at a time. They took down breaking point in the loser's bracket finals, and then they beat anti-gravity not once, but they beat them twice to win that eighth spot. Those guys really relying on their experience and their skills to get them where they're at now. Yeah, absolutely. It was without a doubt the experience shining through there. You have to find Gandhi on that squad. Those guys know what it takes to be in a championship. They've been on top teams. And you know what? I really like the addition of Legends of him. Obviously a great player and best man stepped up. So those guys, they've got some time now. They're going to get themselves ready for the championship. But again, they're playing on another day. And that's what last night was all about. Best man went huge. The kid was just nuts last night. You will see him in Vegas. That kid has some skills. All right, we definitely going to check those out in Vegas, but we got the top eight teams here battling it out. Some of those teams are still here, but some aren't. 
Here's a couple of the guys that are not still left in our tournament as we check out our brackets coming up here. As you see right now, Puckett, tell us what we're looking at. Well, the biggest story of winner's bracket round one was Instinct falling to Team Classic. That's a brand new team with Macchio, Victory X, Ant and Soldier. These guys surprised Instinct, knocking them into the loser's bracket. And of course, Final Boss, they had a tight series against Carbon. They were up 2-0, but Carbon showed some heart. They came back and won game three and four, taking them to game five, which Final Boss advanced through. Yeah, I really think that that Instinct series with Classic, I mean, that I, maybe they were looking ahead. I don't really know. Obviously, that made that route a little bit tougher than it would have been. But the fact of it is, is that we saw some great teams stepping up. And as we said, you have the best eight in the world. And we know we've seen upsets all season long. Any team on any given day can come out and get hot and go on a run. Like, that basically means they can't be beaten. And so far, we're waiting to see who's going to do that here. And speaking of teams that can't be beaten and teams that are hot, we do have some hot teams that are still in it in straight ripping and final balls. And final balls just had a great match. And we want to see how those guys do as well. Yeah, Final Boss, I think, they, they had a lot to prove coming into this event. They felt like the last event, maybe they didn't do as well as they wanted to. Obviously, the addition to Neighbor, a great player on a new squad. But they stumbled when they were up in Toronto. But the thing here was they were down and they came back. And I think they showed a lot of heart. That maybe the leadership that was lacking in Toronto came and shined through. And honestly, they avoided a huge pothole because if they had dropped that series, I don't know how well this, this day would have gone for them. Well, you know what? I was actually incredibly impressed by Final Boss here. The biggest knock on them in Toronto was that they're not mentally strong. They were up 2-0 against Straight Rippin, and they let Straight Rippin come back and beat them 3-2. And not only that, they were up 3-0 against Classic, and Classic took them all the way to 11 games. But they said in between events, that was the one area they were working on. They were working on their mental toughness, and it showed here. Neighbor, the guy that everyone questioned, he was the one who stepped it up for Final Boss. In games three and game four, he caught fire. He went positive 31, kill to death ratio, absolutely destroying an Ogre 2. You know, he stepped up as a leader of this team. And speaking of being on fire, there's another team that's on fire right now, our number one seed who only dropped one game so far in straight ripping. Straight ripping. I mean, what can you say? Honestly, it's an all-star lineup right there. You look at those guys, you lose a player like Neighbor, and what do you do? You get a guy like Snipe Down. And Snipe Down has shown us that his ability is, is off the charts, and he's surrounded by a veteran squad there. And on any given map, any given game type, any given play, somebody else can step it up for them. So uh, Straight Ripping to me is, is right now, if they're clicking, they're a scary team to have to face. Well, of course, Straight Ripping, all four of those guys, extremely talented, all amazing at their own different aspects of the game. But the player you got to look out for from final boss right now is definitely neighbor. He's playing at the top of his game once again. And, that, and we see the addition of snipe down because of neighbor leaving for final boss when the final boss dropped Walshy. But we got some snipe down highlights coming up for you right for the commercial. But after the break, we're going to bring you our winner's bracket finals between final boss and straight ripping. Let's take a look at some highlights from snipe down. Snipe down, look at bottom middle, gets two for one with that shot, stop! Oh, the beat down from Snipe down. Oh, he almost, oh, he did stick with it there on the cankle, and there's the double kill. Since I've only been at three events and getting first place after the third event, it is ridiculously, like, amazing. Oh, Snipe down with another stick. definitely say this one. I just proved to myself and everyone else that no matter what team I'm on, I can help them out. Snipe down, just getting started. The 2008 Major League Gaming Pro Circuit, powered by Xbox, is presented by GameStop and brought to you by Bungie, Dr. Pepper, and Stride.